Well, hello again. Uh, my name is Alain Peltier, and today we're going to uh, see how to um, make mortises along a curve. So uh, I'll have uh, made a curve here and um, just uh, click mortise. Now the default values um, give you uh, different possibilities um, but uh, one if you're dealing with an open curve you need to select open curve here all right so uh, that, that shortens the um, line to uh, or the, the sides the length of the sides to the length of the curve uh, if you don't select that, it's going to try to loop back again and come to the front. So we don't want that. All right. So, um, right. See, the um, finger size changes the um, fingers here. Now, right now, the um, length of the finger is not adaptive. So that means the length of the finger is the same throughout. So uh, if I choose uh, 20 millimeter, it's going to make a different thing and it's going to make uh, a different side to go with it. So it, it makes the matching side fingers for the top here. Okay. Uh, so the flex bucket, I have a 2.5 millimeter bit, so I'm going to choose a 2.6 um, millimeter, just a little bit larger than my uh, tool size. Um, as you can see here, I have the end of the curve here is not, um, doesn't have anything. And so um, we would like to uh, maybe change it to uh, 21 millimeter, just to make sure that we have a nice pocket here to fit our end of um, uh, of the curve. All right, so uh, so that's pretty straightforward. If you make the um, width of the finger, um, the other variable here is um, the side height. So let's say this is the top. This would be the side. Uh, so you can choose uh, I don't know 25 and make it smaller, and you can use uh, 300. Let's just go nuts and make it wider so um, yeah depends what you want to do and what you're working so uh, right now we're just going to keep it to 50. Um, okay so oh if you want the uh, side and if you don't want the side and the bottom fingers you just want the uh, one pair one set of fingers you can choose that and so it's just going to delete, delete that all right so let's say this curve is complicated and well we may not be able to go around here where it's really tight so what do we do well this is what adaptive um, a, um, angle threshold does so at a certain angle is going to switch the size of the finger uh, and to make it it can approach or go to uh, this uh, minimum finger. Okay, so uh, let's try uh, five degrees. As you can see, we have more small fingers here. And um, as we go smaller, one degree for example, we get more precision. Also, we get more uh, folding, uh, bending points here. So it makes the uh, curve um, more precise, um, but it may not be needed depending on how big your project is. Um, so let's try a two degrees, for example. Yeah. So it actually um, the um, uh, this part of the program looks at the next angle 
And if the next angle is too big, it's going to uh, adjust the size of the uh, of its own um, finger. So um, yeah, so this this uh, um, very useful. Okay, so um, let's um, let's remove the curve and delete all that. Oh. Uh, yeah, if you want to do something with it, you can um, silhouette offset, um, dilate open curve, um, make it, uh, I don't know, 20 millimeter, and you can uh, select this and this and you can curve boolean difference and now you get an object that you can you can cut uh, so I suggest uh, you use um, the overcuts on this and yeah so um, that would be ready to uh, to process okay screencast keys I forgot to do that now um, if I want to make a plate here um, let's uh, make a plate so I want the corner radius to be um, 75 millimeters and the whole size zero so I have uh, this this shape here right So um, let's say I want to put mortises on here, and uh, of course they're adaptive because um, of, of my old uh, settings. Let's say it is not an open curve, um, and let's say the. Um, Finger playroom is like 0.1 millimeter. And okay. Let's make the angle zero here. So this so this is um an uh, evenly spread um, set of fingers. But um, we can choose the um, adaptive on here. Uh, two uh, so we made it two degrees earlier. Um, so we have plenty of small fingers. Maybe they're a little small, so I'm going to choose eight millimeter here. And um, yeah, so we can make a shape like this. Um, nice round shape or rounded corner shape if you want to uh, make it larger you can um, silhouette offset and dilate so you could Take your fingers here and boolean difference, and this this is a shape you would have to cut. So yeah, it is um, very useful. Um, I don't know of any software that actually does that, but um, 
if you have any suggestions um, just let me know in the comments uh, I am an active member developing member of uh, blender cam so um, if you have any questions um, you know, just uh, let me know uh, if you want to join us on uh, chat uh, you can um, we're on elements uh, or um, uh, or the matrix uh, it's um, the room of blender cam I will post a link on that in the description like and subscribe if you um, if you like this kind of content and uh, I will uh, try to make some more videos um, uh, shortly so uh, have a great day thanks for uh, watching